Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, stay safe and positive during the lockdown. I've been painting in Art Rage on the iPad. It's been a while since I've used it. And it was just a real fun uh, painting to do. I was working from a black and white photograph. So I had to make up my own uh, color scheme for this one. And also I have to say, doing the 15 minute speed paints is really starting to affect my painting. So let's just get straight into the video and see how it's turning out. So I thought I would uh, use Art Rage on the iPad. I haven't used that for such a long time. And I'm going to begin with this would have been oil painting. I just love the oil painting on the iPad. And look at that. Straight away we get these thick paints. I don't know if I want to. Uh, a thick paint let's load a preset let's just have the normal square I do want like thick paint but not just yet and I'm working from this black and white photograph so that's weird I don't know how that's going to work out uh, but we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see I'm just sort of roughing in these clouds I'm doing the clouds I'm kind of doing it in Reverse order. Let's get some blue in. I can tell that, you know, I've been doing these speed paintings. The effect definitely affected my painting style because I'm, look how fast I'm going. This is real time. And I'm, I'm proper uh, speed, speeding through it. <clears throat> I tell you what every time I cough I think is that it is that it have I got it it's uh, I think a little bit of paranoia is beginning to set in not not quite so good Notifications on the desktop kicking in there. I thought I'd disabled them. I'm sort of mixing in lighter colours, sort of mid lighter colour in between that sort of grey and the sky. I think I like it. Bringing this lighter down as we go. All very impressionistic. I kind of want that, I guess. To uh, go that way. There we go. Just hold the uh, pen on the surface of the iPad if you want to select a, a colour that's already been uh, used before. Right, I think I'm going to um, blend this down a bit with a, a palette knife. Let's see what we've got. Let's have a look at the presets. I'm a big fan of the Arch Chaos. That's usually for watercolour. I use it for watercolour, but let's see what we get here. Make it a bit bigger. Take it up to 100%. Hmm. Oh, I've got it once. Got it set to 0%. That's not really what I'm after. That It's a bit too chaotic, which kind of makes sense. Hard out smudge. That's going to be the one. I'm, I'm sure it is. Just 
sort of blend some of these together. That's it. I don't know where I got the colours from for my sky. Not the colours, but the the shapes. The, it's not ma matching the photograph very much. I'm sure. be like that but I can you know go back in it and paint over it again I might create another layer I think I will I just love stormy skies and they really are cool to paint I'll come back to that in a bit because I need to get sort of the foreground on a bit and also I have to say I need to bring this down quite considerably right, let's get the trees in and I'm gonna go with kind of a a grey a grey colour So I'm just sort of doing like little vertical shapes to suggest these, make it a bit lighter at the back perhaps. Bit of aerial perspective going off where things in the distance you make lighter than things in the foreground. There's going to be a limited palette, this I think, where I'm sort of using yellows and blues, I guess. Let's put a little bush in there. This is. I suspect this is going to be like a 15 minute painting in, in as much that I'll, I'll pretty much have it finished in 15 minutes but it, it, it isn't intended to be I'm just uh, just having a bit of fun experimenting I've done quite a bit today this is about my third third piece. Well, I've been developing some brushes and that's taken up quite a bit of time. And then I did a painting using them. And uh, then I produced some artwork for the marketing, all the sales of them. And now I'm just sort of chilling out at the end of the day with this impressionist piece. I like Art Rage on the PC, but there's something really cool about using it on the iPad. Uh, I've got the iPad set flat on the table. And I'm just... Um, Chilling out, painting away. Get rid of that blue in, sort of bringing the blue in from the sky. I just want sort of, I don't want, I don't want to start painting blades of grass or anything like that. Now these, uh, I think I'm still going to go even darker in the foreground because I'm going to use that to um, frame the sheep that dark blue there there we 
go. I'm sort of putting off doing the sheep. I don't know why. Uh, nervous thing, I think. I've got to do them now, I think. I've got to do them now. I do need to make the brush a bit smaller. Oops, I don't like using that. Make it about 50%. Should I, I'm gonna create a new layer. Uh, just so that, um, oh, I haven't got much battery power left. I wonder if I could get it finished within the 5% of battery I've got left. Let's zoom in for these sheep. No point in making uh, odd work of it. Uh, I've got my image on the screen and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna zoom in on that as well, I think, just so I can see uh, the sheep a bit. Right, there we go, that gives me something to look at. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the light color first. And, and then work around from that. That's one body. And then we've got another one here. Got this little leg. They've got quite long. Thin legs, these. Now this one's only got, apparently it's only got one leg. <laughs> I don't know if they, they always look really sort of quite shoddy to start with and hopefully I'll get I'll get there and make them look something like let's, let's change the colour a bit I know when I zoom out, I'm going to think, well, this colour's not right. I'm going to have to either paint it out or add it to other shapes. Just make the brush a little bit smaller. Uh, obviously we need these sort of dark shadows under them just to tie them down a bit just use that polar knife a little bit maybe a bit on the big side still too big A 
plenty going off there on the shadowy bit. I've got it on another layer. I'm going to have to merge it down in a second just so I can get the blending in better. Right, let me just. Um, oh, that's not too bad actually. Uh, I'm going to blend that layer down now then. When I've worked out how to do it, uh, merge down, there we go. I tell you, if you don't use the app like every day, it very quickly becomes like working with a new app again. You can second blend into that now quite nicely. I can also, uh, let's just make it a bit bigger. I can blend some of, the, some of these trees as well to get like a branch. In. Make it look a bit more like branches, twigs and things. Yeah. Right, okay, I can see. Do I need that log? I'm just wondering if we need this log. I don't think it distracts. I'm going to leave that in, I think. Right, the sky, I'm going to create a new layer. And we've got it, it's too blue at the top. So um, I think I might go in and start putting some thick paint in. Shall I? No, I won't. I won't. I won't. I'll stick with what I've got. I'll just type 100 in there and basically what I want to do is sort of overpaint some of this and uh, blend it all sort of merge it all in and then mess about with a layer so I've got like uh, let's change the the blend mode uh, I'm sure we, I can yeah blend mode that make it dark multiply and knock the opacity down considerably. Perhaps not that much. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it with that for, for the time being. And then I can start overpainting. I just need to shrink me. And I can sort of brush into that with a lighter colour if I want. It's just like overpainting really. Well, it's not just like overpainting really, it is overpainting. I just want to knock some of these blues back to sort of bring it in line and I know it's all looking a bit of a mess at the minute but I will, I will get it all blended down I promise uh, I don't know if I'm feeling this Painting some lighter colours in it, I'll be able to uh, soften it down a little bit, blend it with the um, palette knife because at the minute I'm just getting hard edges. And if I put white in, we shouldn't get any change of colour, and then I can merge that in, and then we're going to get this sort of over painting. So I'm painting white now over the top. So because I've got the blend mode set 
to uh, multiply it doesn't change anything underneath and then if I tweak it a little bit it just we can just get a softer blend the colors underneath shine through a little bit and we start building up this this layer like glazing effect change the colour a bit if I want Let's try to put of interest so now we're getting lots of paint on so I can take that palette knife and start blending them all together get this lovely sort of softening of this sky but we can still see the sky underneath it So that's about as far as I've come so I need to go back in with some more paint make it a bit lighter with white so I've got these sort of odd edges on the top I can take the knife now and then just blend them away at the bottom sort of leave those odd edges Sort of like that. That's working for me. Softening away. I think I'm liking this, yes. I'll create one more new layer now. And I'm just going to paint some highlights in. So now when I use the white paint, I won't go completely white. I'll go for a creamy colour. And hopefully... Gonna be a bit difficult to blend them in. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's not gonna work. Unless I, um, let's do that. Let's redo it and just change the opacity slightly. Take the opacity down. Too much. Yeah, just about like that. blended in bit of a sharp edge along the bottom When do I stop? That's the thing. Let me have a look at that layer. Do I like it? You know what? I don't. I'm going to just leave that layer switched off. What about that one? Yeah, that adds a lot to it. So I'll keep that one. I will lose the bottom one. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do... Can I clear that there? Clear that one. Switch it back on again and use that. And I'm just going to paint really delicately, I think. Maybe, you know what? I'm going to change my brush and let's go now for the thick gloss square. So when I put any paint on, we're still on that transparent mode but we get this nice thick look to the brush strokes I like that that's cool just adds a bit to it I'm trying to get this sort of Sharp, what I'm doing, the, I've got this sharp edge in the bottom off of the sheep and the trees. And I really like that. And I'm I'm trying to uh, repeat that in the sky as well. But without it being quite as harsh. So I think I'm getting there. Oh, because that's thick paint, I can blend that out a little bit better. That's cool. You know what? I think we're kind of there. I could go on forever. Just uh, form around the trees yeah 
Yeah, that's it. I think. I like painting with this transparent there. That's that is uh, quite cool actually, because I can put these. twigs on the trees like that I can then go back down let's put another layer on top of that and just maybe make the brush a bit smaller Also, just get a bit of that thick paint on the sheep, of course. There we are, uh, painting of sheep with uh, thick paint, working from a black and white photo, adding my own colour in an impressionist style. I wonder if I can sign this. I wonder if the brush is small enough. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. So it's been a while since I've used the iPad, but I have to say it really is fun. You can do some quick paintings with it. I did take me longer than 15 minutes because I started messing about with the sky. Um, it would have been interesting to see how that had turned out if I'd have restricted it to 15. Uh, but anyway, there you go. Hope you've liked this video. If you have, big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I have lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.